Hello everyone, and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. The Sith Lords. Because for some reason, the address is multiple Sith Lords. Which don't really feel like Sith Lords. Well, two of them feel like Sith Lords. Well, more like one of them feels like a Sith Lord. We'll get into that later. But yeah, now we go to Telos. Lots of scenes you can't see. This is the planet that got wiped out by the Sith. That control. Attention, bombarded. this is Citadel Station Bay Control, Dog Module 126. Please remain where you are. Lieutenant Dolgren will arrive shortly to meet you. That is all. I don't like the sound of that. If they think we caused the explosion... Uh oh. Here comes the welcoming party. They may not know what happened, so don't blow it. I'm Lieutenant Gren, Telos Security Force. I'm under orders to take you into custody in regards to the destruction of the Paragas Mining Facility. You haven't been formally charged, but you will be placed under house arrest pending the results of our investigation. Due to the nature of the investigation, I have no specific timetable to offer you. In the meantime, your ship and any droids will have to be given over for safekeeping. Yes, that includes you. You are a droid, so you will be detained. In addition, we will have to take your personal arms and armor until the completion of our inquiry. T3's dialogue just seems to skip a lot. Don't know why. Just like, I guess, the deets aren't registering. If you are cleared of any involvement, your personal effects will be returned to you. You will be held briefly in the TSF station until living quarters can be arranged, at which point you will be placed under house arrest. Do you understand? Good. My men will relieve you of any arms and armor. Please follow me. Tell me I'm not going to jail again. By the way... They just say anyone walks into the hangar. You will be held here briefly. Living quarters are being arranged for you and your companions as we speak. Someone will return shortly to escort you to an apartment in residential module 082. As I said, this is only temporary while other arrangements are made. I'm sorry, but you'll just have to bear with us until then. I have many matters to tend to. Your questions will have to wait. Hmm. Well, I guess I'm just going to wait in here, then. Well, we might be here for a while. Might as well get comfortable. Someone is coming. So this is the last of the Jedi. I must admit, I'm a little disappointed. It's up to you, dear. The Exchange has a bounty on Jedi, you know. You're worth quite a bit of money. The Exchange, huh? <laughs> I'm pretty sure some two-bit pistol jockey like yourself isn't one of them. Hey, I'm more than skilled enough to work for the Exchange. You bounty hunters couldn't even win a fair fight. You're the cheapest, most worthless mercenary scum in the galaxy. I'd hire a Mandalorian over your filth in a second. No Mandalorian could match my skills. No Mandalorian could have been clever enough to infiltrate this station, taking the identity of one of the guards, then... Then what? Overloaded our force cage fields and made it look like an accident? You probably don't even have the guts to fight me. <laughs> Pathetic. Don't think overloading your cages had not occurred to me. You're wanted alive. But I doubt anyone will care as long as I bring them your corpse. Well, let's get this over. Come, Jedi. It is time to die. Hey, leave her alone. You want to fight? Then try me, if you've got the guts. You have goaded me once, and you shall not do so twice. But I shall dispose of all of you eventually. And an old woman, a fool, and a broken Jedi are no match to my skills. I like how no one can establish that career what Kriya is. It's like, she's very masking her identity. That. 
the, she does get off the whole, well, I have the Force, too. Because everyone assumes we're the last Jedi. What about her? She has the Force. <laughs> nope, no one seems to care about her. Ah. <sighs> Well, you were stupid enough to let me out. Oh, the security cameras are. What? What's going on here? Man down! Quick! Call a medic! All right, Jedi. I want you to back up slowly. Hands in front of you. Into the Force cage. Cooperate, and we won't have to gun you down. Come on, Lieutenant. They've already killed... Uh, uh, who is that? Is that Batu Rem? Rem's no assassin. Batu Rem is on leave. He shouldn't even be on the station. This man isn't him. We've arranged for an apartment in Residential Module 082. You'll stay there under house arrest until our investigation of the Paragras matter is complete. You'll be under TSF protection. I'll personally clear any visitors to your quarters, and we'll investigate this incident to the best of our ability. Uh. Officer, let Lieutenant Yima a report of this incident. She'll look into this. The rest of you come with me. We'll escort you to the apartment in 082 immediately. That guy just fades out of existence. These will serve as your quarters for the duration of your house arrest. Two officers will be stationed outside at all times. Again, I'll clear any visitors. There won't be another incident. But just to be on the safe side, why don't you leave us a blaster or two? You know. I can't say. We have a ship examining what's left of the Paragas facility now, so your stay might be brief. We'll keep you informed. Now, this is a step up from a force cage, at least. If there are any problems, we'll use the wall terminal to contact you. Let's go. This isn't good. We've got to get off this station. Why do we need to leave? What do you think the TSF is going to find at Paragas? That could bring the Sith... You know what? Forget it. As long as we're trapped here, it doesn't matter. We cannot stay in any one place too long, but our path has brought us here for a reason. I must meditate on this. In the meantime, we should rest. Yeah, you go ahead and meditate. As for me, I could use some sleep. Well, let's rest, shall we? Excuse me, you have a caller. Moza, representing the Athorian planet restoration interests on Telos. Lieutenant Grenz cleared him if you'd like to speak with him. So what does he want? He says he wishes to speak with you on behalf of Chodo Habat. That's all he will say. Fine. Very well. I'll let him in now. Yeah, 
Circus trying to take over, and that's what we're gonna do. And I'm not gonna really, you know, is that to be truth blood Shodahabad should turn his eyes to his own people if they truly suffer so. She endured it out, and she endured us, for he sit on Gelfa. Now perhaps we will be able to rest uninterrupted. I so uh, I doubt that. Bang, bang. Boop. Good day. I am B4D4, administrative assistant for Zerka Corporation's Citadel Station branch. I am attempting to connect you with Executive Officer Jana Lorso. May I put you through? What did you want? I am sorry, but I do not know. I am only her administrative assistant. May I put you through? Eh, uh, sure. Thank you. I will connect you now. Good day. Thank you for accepting my call. As my assistant no doubt that. informed you, I am Jana Lorso. So I understand know. that you were approached by Nathorian earlier. Doubtless he tried to obtain your help, attempting to purchase it with imposed guilt and veiled threats. Imposed guilt? Yes. They play at being downtrodden innocents, having come to you because of these Jedi rumors that are going around the station. Who Oh, and I suppose he didn't mention the exchange, helping you with any problems here? In other words, the Athorians won't lead the exchange to you if you work with them. Well, no matter. My apologies. I never intended to waste your time discussing Athorians. I believe you're a person of influence. Someone I'd like on my side, rather than aiding the Athorians, whose quasi-mysticism and bumbling foolishness is standing in the way of progress and profit. I'm not asking for your help, though. I'm offering you a job. Work for Zerka and be handsomely rewarded. You'd be helping yourself. If you're interested, Please visit our offices here in Residential 082. B44 will know what to do when you arrive. The the Their way. plans for the restoration of Telos are aimless and meandering. Restore the sacred natural beauty of Telos, they say. Just what does that mean? How does that apply to natural resource development and consumption? The proper planning of urban sectors, resorts and tourism? It doesn't. The Athorians are spending billions of Republic credits on a plan with no defined profit. If it continues, they'll drive the Republic into irreparable debt and have nothing to show for it but a few meadows and a weather generator the size of a small continent. Uh, Excellent. Good luck with that messy investigation, and I hope to see you shortly. We should get back to bed. Whenever they decide to release us, we should get going immediately. Well, let's go back to sleep then. Now mind we're gonna meditate this time. Ring ring. 
Explain something to me. I do not have the years required, nor the desire to indulge you. If she served in the war, well, Jedi are supposed to be tough, capable. Yes, and what are they without the Force? Take the greatest Jedi Knight, strip away the Force, and what remains? They rely on it, depend on it more than they know. Watch as one tries to hold a blaster, as they try to hold a lightsaber, and you will see nothing more than a woman, or a man, a child. But to lose so much, I guess I didn't realize how much they relied on it. Do not be surprised. In many ways, even you are more capable than a Jedi. You could survive where they could not simply because you do not hear the Force as they do. It is irony of a sort, and it is why I tolerate your presence now. But such a loss of ability for a Jedi, it seems so extreme. She has been gone from war some time. It is conflict that strengthens us, and isolation that weakens us, erodes us. Add to that that she turned away from war, did all that she could to forget it, and the last piece clicks into place. But we have spoken enough of this, and we do her a disservice by not speaking of this while she is present. Oh, I've come to inform you that the Talosian government has completed its inspection of what's left of the Paragus facility. It appears that the Harbinger had indeed been present, though it was gone when our ships arrived and was responsible for the station's destruction. Logs recovered from the facility's wreckage indicated that the miners perished as a result of sabotage, which began while you and your companions were either incapacitated or incarcerated. As such, you are to be released from house arrest. However, the Republic is sending its own ship. They have insisted that you remain on station for the duration of their search. The sojourn is already en route, likely not more than a few standard days. Feel free to use these quarters during your stay. The vessel's IND is complete. Please visit the TSF station in Entertainment Module 081 to complete the necessary paperwork at the front desk. The Evan Hawk should be transferred from the impound docks by the time you're free to leave. So. After filling out the paperwork, it'll be transferred with your ship along with your confiscated weapons and armor. Well, I'm definitely gonna need my confiscated weapons and armor. Well, now what? We can't just stick around. We need to find a way off this station. Whether it's the Ebon Hawk or some other ship. We could hit Nar Shada, maybe. If you've got people coming after you, it's where you go to get lost in the crowd. Hey, everyone needs to get lost once in a while. Get away from something, you know? It's no big deal. What do you think? It is difficult to say. I feel we came to Telos for a reason, but we may have spent too much time here already. Even if the Harbinger was destroyed at Paragus, more Sith could already be on their way. Still, there is a chance we might learn of other Jedi here on the planet's surface. Jedi who might help us restore your abilities or sever the link between us. Well, what do you think? Makes sense. I'll follow your lead. I mean, stay or explore. We do need that ship. The only problem, though, is yeah, we don't have anything. So, what you got for me? Skills. Four points. Well, that's easy then. Upper powers. Force armor. Bounty force shield. Horror. Can't go wrong with horror. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Wait, there's, I was gonna say there's foot lockers. But there's nothing in the foot lockers. Put in C1. It's locked. What's up? What's up? Zerka's mercenaries are getting out of hand and they're too much for the TS. The war has really inflated prices here in the Outer Rim. Medical supplies are in short supply and high demand. Hi. I said hi. Oh, Nita Manta, you my lord, the what? 
to vrekun mili wosa slima pogu. Tava dumpa mun suru kupla liya wa. Bo bagaragawanda yai tua uluan jiyum. Tong hite mosi jochia yumba dita wa e bawa. So apparently they changed the mayor tree like voice actor. Let me guess you have a gambit day. Kawana bota yunta tanga kinamatura. Okay, so what's the problem? Ejikonu ta yun yuna palawa lit basha makaranwa nirot. Variki, mangra, do cha, screen, do pat, slimenu, da hupa, bo sa curata, go, juju tu yoke, tava dumpa munsuru kupla liya wa. Watakla tunji. Muli urawa, iberendi a tia wa. I'm not going to pay you the credits. I don't have 2,000 credits. I don't have anything really on me. Well, I guess I do have my credits. They're almost 2,000, actually. Hey! What are you doing in my apartment? Well, uh... You, you think, think I'm just going to let you get away with this? Oh, and now I'm supposed to be scared of you on top of everything else? Oh, this guy. Why not? You didn't seem to have a problem taking everything else. What? You are crazy! I am. I am crazy. By the way... See this about here? I don't know what even came over me. One second we were just standing there talking and then... I am not speaking to you, fool. Be silent. I think I skipped a thing. Oh god, she's judging me. Oh, I grow weary of this. Perhaps time will allow my words to take root, if your common sense will not permit it. Eh, yeah, Chris gonna be judging me. Oh no, you killed someone. You didn't need to do that. Well, true, I didn't need to do that, but... He escalated. <sighs> After purple group to enjoy this planet. It sucks. I kinda like her. She's just you know impossible. Well then I'm gonna kick that door down. See, kick that door down. And hey, there was nothing at all in it. Why did we open this? Tonoranda Marakan, Epo, Tonos Emeregith, Wanarakorachi Drum, Tonos Emeregith, what? In Wamagro, the random of Sibu and Dasarans. The Chabi. Thought you could ask him about lightsabers too, but. Anyway, what you got for me? That's expensive. Pretty expensive. That's also expensive. What if a droid armor? <laughs> Look at that price. Like, we could almost afford that, but... Then you get to this one, it's like... Yeah. That's not bad upgrade. Eh, that's a bit expensive. Ultra parts. Eh, about the same as they were in the first one. Oh shit, that's right, we have s Oh no, I was like, we have things we could sell. 
Oh wait. Well I can tell the strength package actually. That does have a bit. But yeah, there's not very much I very want to. just locked. So he has gun droids, lockers, he has a workbench, high workbench. So remember we could technically use the workbench to create things. So I could technically use it to create those weapons if I needed to. Yeah, we can't ask him about lightsabers because we've already technically completed the lightsaber quest. <sighs> so technically the smartest thing I need to do would be to go to the... Well, outside of here. Go to the place and get my stuff back. The TSF isn't cut out to handle all the problems on Citadel Station right now. There's we there. need Republic assistance. Let's go to the merchant first. Look, the camera in the store and we know Chabi. So what does he have? He has bizarre cards. I think I bought most bizarre cards I want, but you know. Not against buying these bizarre cards. If you had a discount on those. That's all he has? Oh well. Well, let me shop. How you actually ha I was gonna say, are you staring me back my stuff? Because there's that. And there's my robe again. Light combat suits, bad armor. Uh, violet lightsaber crystal. I'll buy that. Pope plaster. Bunch of grenades. Think of one when unarmed. Oh, I'm not going to be unarmed, so. Damage physical plus four. Huh. Tempting. Tempting. Also tempting. Don't really need that. Don't really need that. Don't really need that. Those gauntlets are tempting though. Shame I can't afford them, but yeah. By the way, you could do this though. Not upgrade. Ah, then. 
technically domain. All right. We could do this. See? Boop. Exactly. So you basically spin your components to make something. <laughs> uh, yeah, but. It's kind of what's me though. These ones. But, might if I were unarmed. Anyway, of course, I need to focus and head to where I need to be headed to. Hi. That didn't look like an accident to me or my associate here. It looked like you wanted to make a fool of him. Not even an apology. That won't do at all. So what's going on now? This Sulliston here had a few things to say about us that we didn't take to so well. We're just trying to work out our differences. Oh, he's an my lesson. That was the plan, Chief. Now why don't you run along? This doesn't involve you. That's murder. Teaching my last would be hitting him once or twice. But I'll take the perception D package. There's a cantina. Canteen scale, Bill Praytel is the TSF office. It's a shadow door to the dogs. That's apparently not a thing. Uh, this is. This must be it. Hi. Welcome to Entertainment Module 081's TSF station. How may I be of assistance? I've come to get my ship in the rest of my business. I will call up the appropriate information now. One moment. Searching. One moment. I regret to inform you that the Ebon Hawk is gone. The TSF believes it was stolen and is currently investigating. Oh. How are they even possible? It seems the Ebon Hawk was transferred to Telos' surface instead of an impound dock. However, both the requester and the point of delivery are unknown. But In addition, the vessel is not showing up at any government-sanctioned landing site. I would conjecture that it has been stolen, and the TSF records have been illegally accessed and modified. I knew it! That stupid T3 unit stole our ship! It's probably joyriding through the system right now, laughing at us, laughing at me! That is unlikely. While your utility droid is not accounted for, numerous satellites track all incoming and outgoing vessels. There is no record of the Ebonhawk leaving the system. Wait! You're saying the ship's actually somewhere on Telos' surface? I don't understand. Telos' atmosphere is highly corrosive outside the shielded restoration zones. Where else could someone land safely? I'm sorry. I'm afraid that's all the information I have for you. Of course, the quarters in residential module OE2 will remain yours until the situation is resolved. Thanks. There was a query regarding the Ebonhawk's ID signature sent from the Paradis mining facility. However, all data collected in response to the query has been deleted. It is likely that this information was removed when the vessel's transfer request was modified. Well, can I get my possessions back at me? Fortunately, your possessions were kept in the armory and were uncompromised. I will open the door for you so that you may retrieve them. You will find them in the security lockers. Damn. Yeah. There is nothing I can do. I am sorry for what has happened, but the situation is beyond me. I cannot legally supply you with another vessel. Not beyond investigating the matter and extending our offer of free room and board. 
I am not qualified to answer that question. However, it is unlikely that someone could steal a starship from under TSF observation without considerable backing. If your vessel has been stolen, there is a fair chance that the Exchange possesses relevant information. I do not know what else to suggest, beyond waiting in your quarters for further word. Exchange. The Exchange is a major intergalactic crime syndicate. They are trying to gain a foothold in the Citadel, most likely seeking to integrate themselves as fully as possible with the new Telos. It is rumored that the Bumani Exchange Corporation, located in Residential Module 082, is a front for the Exchange on Citadel Station. Now, who would have guessed? It has Exchange in the name, even. <sighs> so which one's my locker? Um, uh, that's not my stuff. That's my stuff. That's my stuff. Oh, my stuff. Still my stuff. Still my stuff. And not my stuff. That might be all my stuff, though. Is there a deep package? I mean, immunity, immunity, immunity is not bad. I can think highlight stuff outside of that. I mean, hey, you could wear one of those. And these scissors not bad, but you could wear one of those. And you could wear one of those. Well, I wear one of these. But at the same time, I also prefer like that. But we'll let you take this. Let's see. Melee shield, Chani shield, Chani shield, Melee shield, Melee shield, Energy shield. Do you need that? We don't have the fortitude, so I guess you did need that. See, so you had a sword, didn't you? So where was my lightsaber? Boop. Laid up fill. Laid up fill. Let's say I gave you an ant, didn't I? And you had well they I think you had those ones. Okay. We're good. We're good. Nice, nice, you got that. I'm 
Nice. Get the stats in your Uh huh. Delayed. Uh huh. Oh, Evan Hepburn. Uh huh. Cover the last day. Just now, pick up slides, but you are unable to retrieve any useful information. Something I can help. Would you be interested in helping us by bringing in some bounties? I do like bounties. I do like bounties. But these are legit bounties, probably. This isn't a bounty, so to speak. But we're looking for a man named Batono who's been missing for some time. Also, two ruthless killers that we'd managed to capture and hold here in the TSF station escaped and are currently at large. We're also looking for any information about the imposter Batu Rem. Batono was the overseer of dock operations for Zerka and was assisting us in uncovering the elusive black market smuggling operation that appears to be operating at a Citadel station. A few weeks ago, he suddenly disappeared and hasn't been heard from since. Do you have any leads? Not much, other than what I've already told you, and the fact he was investigating Docking Bay 3. I spoke with some Zerka guards near the Docking Bay, but they didn't seem like they wanted to cooperate with a TSF officer. Maybe you'll have more luck. Oh, I do have quarters. Thank you. Keep me updated. What is it? They were spotted by security cameras in the docking area, and we quickly moved in to apprehend them. We captured them shortly after you were placed under house arrest. Some sort of electrical malfunction. A side effect of the false Batu Rem's attack enabled them to escape. They overpowered their guards and escaped into the Citadel. There are two of them, a Rhodian and a Deveronian. They're well-armed and obviously extremely dangerous. They haven't left the station as far as we know. Okay. All right. Um. What is it? You mean the assassin who tried to kill you, right? The real Batu Rem's one of us, and he's off the station on leave. I hope Batu's okay, though I'm expecting the worst. Shame. He was a good kid. Yes, we looked into it and found that he arrived via a tramp freighter in Docking Bay 3. Unfortunately, the cargo and passenger manifest as well as departure location was not disclosed to us. That's all the information I have for you. If you find anything about the real but... Okay, well, I'll look into that. Bounties. Gotta keep busy. And that's the we retained. See what has to exist. But the game to register that. The TSF isn't cut out to handle all the problems on Citadel Station right now. We need Republic assistance. Yeah, Citadel Station. <laughs> Why would they got that idea from Mass Effect from? Huh. Oh, reusing assets. But this here's obsidian. Not fireware. Also, the canteen is apparently its own separate zone. What the hell it was its own separate zone? Game, I swear to God, if you don't start doing that. Apparently we're using music as sound effects. Fuck's sake. Oh, hi. Hello there. Hmm. Fresh blood at the cantina. Enjoy. Your drinks are on me. We should talk. Later. If you're asking me that, beautiful, you're better off not knowing. Tell you what. You just enjoy yourself, and if in the future we have business together, you can come back and we'll have a little chat. Okay. Ah, so you must be the Jedi everyone's been whispering about. No more trouble with the TSF, I hope? Can I help you? Perhaps you don't know who I am? Don't feel like you himself? You haven't been on Citadel Station long, have you? Let me introduce myself. I'm Benok, the man in charge of Lopak Slusk's protection. You... Do know who Lopak Slusk is, don't you? The two gentlemen with me are Matu and Nahata, Slusk's finest men. Other than me, of course. 
Oh, leave the woman alone, Benok. I bet she'd come out on top if you fought. Now, Luxa, I meant no disrespect. You're probably Slusk's strongest woman. It's your skin, Benok. Just warning you, Slusk could easily replace you. We were just leaving anyway. Come on. Wise man. The probably going to attack me outside, aren't they? Kavadumba Munsuru Kupla Liyawa Bob I've come on behalf of Hara. Da Hupa Bosa Kurata Go Juju to Yoki. Kawana Bota Yunta Tanga Kinamatura Kawana Bota Yunta Tanga Kinamatura Tayaita Kavadumba Munsuru Kupla I can't force persuade. Ha ha ha! Basaba tu slima poiwanga tu chunga niki chala seleriti makmu pawan mitra janta yunto muskun nandi mi sunar krunta kanta ji picha kam tonino bapi. Where's my credits? And where's my? Wow, it didn't give me my, my Pizak deck back. I had like, I gave myself a bunch of plus ones and a bunch of those other cards, but they're not here. They don't exist. Wow. That's stupid. And that irritates me to no end. How can you play? Well, I. Ento mesh mi paju. Don. Did I? Wow! Screw you, game. Screw you hard. They didn't give me my right. Uh, I had. Wow! I'm pissed now. Hello there. Hmm. If you're asked, tell you. <sighs> Fucking bullshit. Ah, uh, so. Perhaps you. You, I'm the t oh, no, it's we were why fucking it's like, yeah, by the way, you don't have your cards that you gave yourself. It's like, okay, I had cards and they're just gone. That's stupid. So I'll be fucking right back. Bawan Tonino Ba There, there's my card. I could play that one. But I forget what these cards are. For playing this card you can change this to one, two, or negative one or negative two. So they're special cards. Because Pizzat's more complicated than this one. Because, you know, that's what they had to do is make Pizzat even more complicated. Anyway. There we see. We don't have sound effects still because fucking Katina has. It's playing music through sound. That's stupid. It irritates me to no end. 13. Oh, so 19. Well, I still won because Trey. 18 is a bit hard to beat, but. Hell, I don't even need to play through. I could just play that one. And I win. Once more. This thing's not bad. 19's better, especially if I pl play that. Oh, you asshole. Am 
Well, now it's all up to luck. Come on. Ah, oh, damn you, game. Fucking asshole, game. Cavadumba Munsuru Kupla Yiyawa Bo Bagaragawanda Yai Da Hupa Bo Sakurata Go Jujutu Yoki Hyata Yam Kawana Bota Yulta Tanga Kinamatura Tayaita Kawana Bota Yulta Tanga Kinamatura Jarumamba Kondu Soto Donache Rami No se <laughs> oh, snap. Stay on, collect your earnings. Bani suka kran, chokra mata, storsh ban locha. As you wish, master. <laughs> oh, snap. Wait, what's happening? How we can't cut scene of a ship? Uh. But I think the uh, Ravager? It's basically a broken down, badly damaged Imperial. Ship that's flying, but the thing is, why am I getting a scene of this? What's going on? Oh, hey, look, more scenes that we can't see because they're bank files. They can bank files. We still can't see it because it's a bank file. I've heard it too, my lord, a disturbance in the force. Oh, I wish we had sound. But how even if we had sound, we couldn't we cut, turn off cutscene volume. It's never good to make out, my lord. Of course, there was such a quiet thing, I didn't notice it. Don't skip it. So basically, we are either we gained enough dark side, or something's up in the game's like. Oh, so I know we're still hearing sounds during those, aren't we? Like, I have sound... That's weird. I have sound turned off. Yeah, I'm still hearing sound. Wow. Uh, anyway, my mind hurts. Eh. Yeah. 800 credits already? Jeez. I guess I'm waiting for the thousand we spent. <laughs> oh, well, an asshole. So hey there! Care for a game of Pazak? Eh, yeah, fine. But do you have any cards I could buy? There's, there's card. This is a advanced Pazak side deck card. We use for Pazak to have this card. Turn to the sign, positive or negative. All your threes and sixes. Twos and fours. Like, yeah, that just a bit complicated. That I means my head hurt trying to process that. Kring Lord Chawata Jotunichi we were Wata Wama. King Chu Sachi King what? Kavadumba Munsuru Kupla Liyawa Bo Bagaragawan Takometa, Blaia Justing, Miki Gongo Beast, Kun Grabila Kingdom, John Murlera, Ton King Bano Jansaka Nicaraska, Tanja Nick, Tovrekun Willy Wood. Yeah, there's nothing swoop fans like more than seeing a good wreck. Torchi, no masu nombre. Kawana bota yunta tanga kinamatur kavadumba munsuru kup tovrekun mili wu da hupa boss. Well, I'd like to rest. Tovrekun mili wu. Yeah. Da hupa boss. Okay, let me wish for you. You can't see it for me. You don't get your mind. Tovrekun mili wu. Well, this should be interesting. How have they changed swoop racing? Oh, God. Oh god, this feels slow and clunky. Wow, this feels slow. Whoa, jeez, this thing handles so much worse. 
Wait, I was supposed to go out of the barrier. It's like we went right through it and stepped over it. Like, this feels so... Wow. Like, it feels like there should be barriers, but we're just driving through them, so it's like, what? Um, did I do good? I think I did good. Tavadumpa munsuru kupla liyawa. Uh, okay. Tavadumpa munsuru kupla... Uh, thanks. <laughs> wow, that felt terrible. Anyway. Hey there! Care for a game of Pizak? Yeah, let's play Pizak, why not? Sure thing. Just for fun, or shall we lay some credit down? If you insist. Like I play... Oh wow, that's all I want to watch looking bad. Yeah, this is fun. Yeah, this is fun. Yeah, like I'm playing this for fun. Oh jeez, you're just gonna get it, right? Just like that. Nineteen, eh? Well, I could do this. Cause, uh, see, I could do this negative one here. Because, you know, there's these stupid overpowered cards in this. Oh. Oh. Well, this is gonna suck, because I can't actually beat that without... Without dealing with that dickery, so I'm just gonna pass. I can't win, because... That would put me at 19, and I'd have to roll one, ugh. You feel like... Do you feel the anger start rage? Mm-hmm. Definitely feel the anger start rage. Come on, give me a good 17. Oh, I'll take a try. Yay. Well done! Care to play again? Fuck you, no. Why would I ever want to play again? Like, seriously, why would I ever want to play again? That's better. And unlike the force electrocution mod, she doesn't even drop anything. But I feel better. I don't understand your problem with the Republic. It's not like Onderon hasn't benefited from joining. It was one of the darkest days in our history. Talia sold Onderon to the Republic, and what did we receive in return? Nothing. In exchange for the blood of our soldiers, the prosperity of Isis has been stripped to decorate dead planets like this. Look, if it weren't for the Republic, you'd all be speaking Mandalorian by now. And because we accepted the Republic's aid, we should be indented to them forever? You make it sound like the Republic turned Onderon into a prison colony. Perhaps. Only that the Republic did not even conquer us. Our own betrayed us and allowed the Republic to take what it would. Oh, no. Oh, so by the way. Cantina has music that plays through the sound of that music. That's that's something I hope. I got into a lot of boat. That's just a bunch of boat right now. Oh yeah, we're just gonna let the music play through this. So head back here and go check out these areas again. Okay, still my bizarre cars. 
course I shouldn't have those advanced Berserk cards anyway, but screw it. I hate Berserk, you know. Zirko obviously, do I want to go talk to Zirko for it first or talk to the... I guess you're dead. A bit better. Creed's gonna start judging me again. You're killing people. I think we've got too much dark side, and thus, Darth Nihilus was like, oh, but I smell a Jedi. I need to go send my apprentice after them. The only problem, though, is that whole scene is a big file, and we can't see big files. Downloaded every map for transit to another module. So there's a Thorian compound. Is there anything else here coming out? Oh, it's a medical unit. Ha. Hello there, and greetings from Isis and Onderon. Been from the Jawa? No. Isis is the place in Onderon. It is with the Jawa Isis. I'm a diplomat from Queen Talia on Onderon. My stay was supposed to have been shorter, but the contract disputes over the restoration project had prolonged it. The Athorians negotiated the export of flora and fauna from Onderon, but with their disagreements with Zerka, the status of our arrangement is in the air. Okay. Well, why are you hanging out in the medical? What's the purpose of this medical area? There's no doctors or anything here. Skip to low. Skip to low. F side you mean skip to low. Open the frickin' thing. Slice the thing. But that's so hard, Gage. Skip to oh my ass. Oh, I guess this here is an access to a lab station. That's very the purpose of this place is access to a lab station. Woo. Yeah, we're gonna need so much stuff. And then I can break down... Can break down plasma grenade. What are you doing? Mouse. Just 
randomly reached across my screen and ripped something. It grabbed something it shouldn't be grabbing. Like, stop that. God, that's so tight. So, what do you do here? Okay. What if I touch this? I could deactivate this carry system. I could do that. So I have to carry system. I could totally do something to do that man. I could totally do something to it. But I don't know what I'm going to do to it. If I could do something to it, just say. I don't know what I'm going to do to it, but I could do something to it. Oh, hi. Boop. Why are the lights that this is high to the Your speech is filled with maybes and perhaps. You are bold to make promises of healing while the world under your care burns and dies. You may be able to help, but there is always a price, is there not? <laughs> See what Zerker's got for me. We did help Zerker quite a bit in Kota 1. Never really care for Zerker. But, yeah. You know, when in doubt. Good day. I am B4D4, Administrative Assistant for Zerker Corporation's Citadel Station Branch. Can How I may I help you? Yeah, I'm here to see you. Of course. 
She has been expecting you. You will find her through the door and down the hall on the right. Okay, well, let's go explore then. Boop, boop, boop. Nice mercenaries. I hear Asgol's been paying mercenaries to go to Dantooine. Can't figure out why anyone would need mercenaries for a planet full of farmers. I'm glad that Zerka put a capable woman in charge of the project. I've got every faith she'll do things right. Oh, do you? Oh, she stands for getting them that way. Oh, hi, guys. I will arrange transport to one of the restoration zones on the planet's surface. You will be safe from the TSF there. For the services you have offered to Zerka, you will also be reimbursed. I trust that is an agreeable arrangement. Of course. I will instruct the commander to await your arrival. And there we go. I knew you'd come eventually. I'm confident that we will be able to reach a working agreement satisfactory to both you and I. But where are my manners? On behalf of Zerka Corporation, I would like to be the first to welcome you to Telos. I can understand why you might be on their side, but believe me, you wouldn't be doing Telos any favors assisting those amateurs. Oh, sure. Habat's intentions are good enough, but good intentions won't restore Telos. His expensive policy of relocating biological specimens from Onderon without any planning will doom Telos in the end. I don't think Habat even realizes that at their current pace, they will run out of funding before even half of the restoration zones are up and running. Zerka plans to use some of the planet's own resources to help fund the restoration. These extra funds will greatly improve the project in the long run. Habat, on the other hand, can't see beyond his own selfish concerns. Yours make it sound like he's the bad guy. We've discovered that the surface of Telos is covered with military facilities that were either destroyed or abandoned during the Sith attack. Salvaged raw materials from these sites can either be reprocessed and put back into service, or resold to help fund the project. Okay. Zerka has been managing the restoration project without the assistance of a droid for some time now. Habat has commandeered the new droid intelligence that was to be delivered to the station. I'd like for you to meet the shipment at Dock Module 126, Shuttle Bay 2, and bring the droid back here before the Athorians foul things up again. While B-44 is perfectly capable of handling Zerka's needs when it comes to accounting and record-keeping, he simply is not capable of dealing with the running of a project as massive as the restoration of Telos. Requisition, if it helps. As the Republic's fund for the restoration of Telos is now divided between both parties, it really isn't stealing, as you put it. It will save the Republic time and money if we cut through the process of having a droid transferred to us. It will be better for Telos in the long run. Don't worry. Zerka wouldn't expect you to work unpaid and won't subject you to veiled threats and coercion like a bat. For your help in this matter, you will be paid the sum of 250 credits. You're right. 300 credits would be much more reasonable. Excellent. Oh, and here. You might need this to get into the hangar. And there the main. I like that. Just oh, here's where you want. Let's 
sure which one. I really feel. Can see you know potential healing. Or threats. Potential healing. Threats. Potential healing. Credits. So let's see what is that going on with my stuff. Okay, so Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Dock base eight. Ground docking operations. Yeah, we've seen them. Going down there. Working on that. Working on that. They haven't hurt some well. So, who to help? Who to help? Who to help? Who to help? It's like both sides want my help. It's like, you know, you could either help the Mythorians, help Zirka. Either way. Yeah. Well, let's go watch see. What we could do before I the fail. That's what I'm supposed to talk to. I'm gonna go to three. Let's go over to one and see what's over here. Uh, this dock is off limits pending an ongoing TSF investigation. Move along. Oh, I can't just boop it open. Okay, well, fine. Boop, 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 boop. You gotta go back this way. What do you have to say in front of me? Now I can transform. To a different area. Donos Imaragith. What a rock. Donos Emeragis, wanna rock or she drunk a sign job in Sasha? Dosimana Rochata. Donos Emeragis, wanna rock or she drunk a sign? In Wamagro, me. The Chabby Doko, Dona Randa, the Chabby Doko. The Ranam of Sibu and Dasarans, Crema Sunkun Ratungala, Chawi Mod. Loka kama ran endoso ran with no chabi. Do ran tamana sobu. Passenger doubly protected. Kawana bota yuntat. Takometa kablaia justing. Yeah, is that? Ejikonu tai yun yuna patong laldu chung nao. Well, I'll ask her when I go back. I'll ask her when I go back. So, oh, hi, authority. Truth black. Look all these lockers that I can. Well, I could go over there, but what's up here? Uh huh. Just wait. I gotta get in the baggage room. I got two things. Uh huh. I'm in baggage room. 
Drops that miller. There's twenty arms for this. Save. Yeah, well, I'm uphill. What are you gonna do about it? Yeah, that's what I thought. But I can't even ask this to There's apparently no reason for me to be uphill. I was hoping I could, you know, venture in them into space or something fun. And ruin everyone's goals. Oh, well, I guess I'll go over here. I'm glad you're here. I'm the only man the TSF could spare, and frankly, I got a bad feeling about this. Excuse me, Master, but it seems we have some additional visitors. Okay. Hi. Welcome to the party. I'm gonna use horror, cause horror. Maybe some more horror. Maybe some more horror. And then I'm gonna go flurry. Maybe no flurry. <laughs> Excellent. I see my faith in your abilities was well founded. We'd like to get this droid into service as quickly as possible. Opo Chano? Well, then, you've proven helpful enough so far. Let's see what you can do. I suggest we have no idea about our credentials. Your opinion was not asked for, Opo Chano. I'll have no further use for you today. You may go. Greetings, Executive Lorso. How may I be of service? Just plug into the mainframe and get to work. Right away, Executive Lorso. And I see we're sealed in the main frame. The now then, the your payment. Here are the credits agreed upon, wow. and a small bonus for performing the repairs as well. There is another task I would like uh, you to perform those. for me. Well, we Do you doubt that I will uphold my part of our agreement? Don't worry. When my word is given, it will not be retracted. Now, on to business. You proved that you can handle yourself quite well in dealing with the retrieval of the droid intelligence. The next matter of business I would ask of you is much more delicate. When we first set up here on Citadel Station, the exchange was already quite well established. Lopax Slusk had more influence over business matters than the Telosian government. To ensure our success, we involved ourselves with the exchange. And now that we have a handle on the situation, we wish to unentangle ourselves from uh -huh. them. 
If you know anything about the exchange, then you know that they would not take this well. Slusk is loath to have his hands removed from any business on the station. So a more direct method will have to be taken. To put it plainly, I want you to kill Lopak Slusk. I realize it won't be an easy task, as Slusk keeps himself well protected. You would be well compensated for it. I have a feeling they won't just let you march into their offices. Laksa is Slusk's second. She spends little time in the exchange offices, though, preferring the cantina in the urban module. She might be able to set up an appointment. Good. I'll be happy to continue our working relationship. More dark side. More levels up. Scares. Oh, yeah, two points, right? Uh, demolitions and parries. Why not? Feet. Oh, yeah, we're level eight. Master Flurry or Master Two Weapon Fine. Boop. I should probably go bo boop my feet up more, though, too. Mash speed, force lightning. I mean, it's force lightning. I sort of have to take force lightning. I feel like I have to bump up some of my powers too, but oh well. Uh, what to do with you? More debts? Why not? Boop. What do you got? Fighting spirit. Crap. Uh, power blast or sniper shot? Let's give you. Alright, let's improve your two weapon fighting. Uh. Wisdom. Skills. Just keep bumping these ones up, I guess. Powers, 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 powers. For shield. Saber droid. Affliction. Train force. Force body. Force barrier. And force valor, why not? More buffs. Yeah, that droid didn't get inside before I got shot out. <laughs> Hi, sir. Employees have to stand around doing nothing. So, yeah. I'm sure the authorities are going to be very happy about what we've done. By the way, I don't know if they're going to be that happy about it. <laughs> so, we can go see this. Hey, they replaced the road again. Isn't that cute? What the hell is this? Ooh, nice armor you have. Can I move? Change it, boy. I don't know the last road. Go, my son. No. Yes, sir. That was shot. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, that's fun.
I swear if there's another road in though, I'm going to be highly amused. Oh my god, they keep... This is... this is silly. Oh, no, I guess I did. <laughs> this is stupid. Like, oh no. <laughs> Stop stabbing me. And then the guard gets up. I wonder how many we've killed so far. Not again. Wait, this is not the way I'm supposed to go. I need to go this way. I don't have to go get the alpha list. I thought there was something no docky pay and other stuff. But I'm gonna go see you can. Hi. Something I can help. Apparently I can. If we knew when he was gonna make a shipment, then we could catch him. What are the three things he needs? All that? If that's the size and substance of his usual shipments, it helps explain quite a bit. It will take some time for me to assemble those. All right, everything's here. Take these to Samhan. After that, come back to me and tell me the exchange has been made, and I'll go to the dock module to wait for him. If he won't let you leave until the transaction's completed, go with him. I'll post one of my men near the docking bay, and if he spots you, he'll summon me. Understood? 
Don't worry about that. Just worry about getting the job done. If you do, I'll make sure that you're rewarded in full. I made her thing. I'm surprised there was any that. And so then we show up here. About time you showed up, Saman. Get your things loaded. I'm already behind schedule. You don't understand how it is with Zerka. When the process stops working like clockwork, questions get asked, and we don't want questions asked, do we? The faster we get this loaded, the faster we can get it out of here. Stop right there. You're all under arrest and your possessions will be seized as evidence. That's enough, Samhan. Don't bother protesting your innocence. We know all about your business, thanks to our friend here. He's got a grenade. Take him down. Oh no. He's got a grenade. Whatever shall we do? More where that came from. I thought you might see it my way. All of you, come with me. Do, 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 do. I think you may be overconfident with your chances, Saman. We now have evidence of your smuggling operation, and even the Council cannot ignore that. Again, I have you to thank. Without your assistance, it would have been impossible for us to place Samhan under arrest. That as it may be, it is not our way. A planet of laws cannot resort to such barbarism. Criminals like Samhan are to be given trials, and their fates decided in that manner. I promise to pay you handsomely for your assistance, and I'll keep my word. Now I must attend to my other duties. Again, thank you for your help. Oh no, light side. God, we gained light side points. Yeah. Yeah. So, that circuit got it mad. Oh well. So yeah, we technically did a good thing now. Oh well. Anyway, we're gonna save and leave our fail. And next time we'll go into the canteen of potential, you know, copyright flags. And talk to Latza. Go to Dale's Exchange. Maybe get to the surface. Not sure. Not sure how long it's gonna take. But yeah, Telos is. It's not as good as Terrace. That's for damn sure. So one of my problems with Knights of the Republic is it has, I mean, the Knights of the Republic 2 is it has such a slow start. Like, in Knights of the Republic 1, Terrace felt, you know, not terrible. I mean, you do it enough times, it sure gets boring, but you had stuff going on. I mean, you had to figure out how to first get down to the lower city, and they had to deal with the swoop gang stuff now, which led to going down to the undercity, and then you had to go deal with the undercity stuff, and then you deal with the swoop gang stuff, and then deal with gang off the planet. But yeah, 
All that takes, like, I don't know, a good nine levels. The problem with this is, for the most part, you... The majority of stuff at first starts with progress. Which is... Nowhere near as good as Terrace. Terrace isn't that good by far. But still, it's nowhere near as good as Terrace. And then you have Telos, which is... I mean, you've seen the size of Telos. It's just basically, here's this section. This section. This section. And then the docks. They basically have the... Area... A1, I mean 8 1, area 8 2, then the docks. Basically. I mean, I guess there is a standard part with the Bathorian complex for that, but still. Not very really much going on. Like, the whole swoop race, there was. It, it's a thing, it exists. <laughs> There's no swoop races for each other to compete against. Pazak's just, well, Pazak. It's wheeled and has new cards in it and this for some reason. Just to make it more interesting, even though it's still Pazak and not that interesting. Uh, what else? I like the whole fact that we went and enslaved. <laughs> What's his face, this girl? That's amusing. I wonder if I could go tell him about that. I wonder how much money I actually make and when I can go collect it. Uh, but yeah. It's like there's just not enough really going on for it to feel like Terrace. Like, Terrace had, you know, all these people, well, Cantinas were packed. There's the dueling thing. Hell, there's no... Where's my Mysterious Strange report? Or dueling arena. It's just lackluster. Like, this game doesn't really start until after we get our telos. Well, I could say the same about Kotor 1. It didn't really start until, well, you went to Dan 2 and became a Jedi. But Dan Turi was pretty mild. But, and there's Dan Turi in this, which is also a thing. But we'll get into that later. Because there's quite a few things for us to do. Namely, probably Nausha Dawn after this. But problems with future to me, because right now, we're ending the video. Hope you all enjoyed, thank you all, and have a nice day.